Hey everybody, I thought I'd show you a couple of demos that I was planning on doing in class this week. Uh, the first of these demos is called a fire syringe. And this is an invention from Southeast Asia that used, they used to use to start their fires. Um, they would actually carve these out of wood. And the way this works is you have a cylinder that's open in the center. And then you have a piston that'll fit inside of that cylinder. And you're going to put a small amount of fuel into the cylinder. And so this is just some cotton that I've teased out to make it spread out so it's easier to ignite. Now, once I have that in there, I'm going to put this piston into the top of the cylinder carefully. And the idea is, as you push the piston downward, it's going to compress the gas inside the cylinder. As you're increasing the pressure of the gas inside the cylinder, it will also increase the temperature of the gas. And if you do it fast enough, it'll increase the temperature of the gas high enough so that it'll cause your fuel to ignite. So here we go. And there it was. All right, the next demo I want to show you is called a hand boiler. Um, and this is just a little contraption that's got some liquid inside and it's a sealed up tube. And the interesting thing about this is, uh, as you know, whenever you increase the temperature of something, especially gas or liquid, sometimes liquid, um, it will increase in volume. And so as you put this hand boiler in your hand, the liquid that's in the bottom gets forced up into the top because uh, the pressure in this bottom chamber is increasing and it's pushing that liquid all the way up into the top. And the reason it looks like it's boiling, it's not actually boiling, is that you've run out of liquid in the bottom. And so now it's just increasing pressure of air going up through the top, which is causing it to boil up through the top. We can cause the liquid to go back down to the bottom just by holding onto the top. And notice that forces all the liquid back into the bottom. So just a little bit of heat from your hand will cause that to happen. All right, for the next part, we're going to go outside. Um, <clears throat> I've got these things set up. The first one is a ring, and what you'll notice is, if I take this ball, it'll fit just through the ring, okay? Now, if I take that ball and use a torch to heat it, um, what happens is the metal of the ball actually expands. And since I didn't heat anything else, the metal expands enough so that if I try to put it through the ring, it won't fit anymore. So it's still not hot enough. See how it barely fits in there? So if I heat it up a little bit more, it'll get to the point where it won't fit through the ring at all. And again, that's the idea of thermal expansion. When you heat things up, they expand. Notice now, the ball won't go through the ring. Another thing that happens with thermal expansion is you can create something that's called a bilayer metal. So this strip of metal is actually produced with two different types of metal. One type of metal will expand farther than the other when it's heated up. And so if I put this into the flame, what you'll notice is it's going to curl because the metal on one side of this expands more than the metal on the other side of this as we heat it up. And so that's what happens, it's called uneven expansion. And if it's allowed to cool back off, you'll notice it'll start to straighten back out. The cooler it gets, those two pieces of metal will get back to their normal shape or their normal size. And that's it for today, there'll be more later.